Tonight, for the first time, we are going to hear from a man who was singled out and asked to put his future in the hands of a hopeful experiment to become the first patient in this country to receive those highly debated embryonic stem cells. Why was he selected and what is he feeling tonight? He has decided to speak out and Steve Osansami has the story. It was the dream of Christopher Reeve, the Superman who fought so hard for embryonic stem cell therapy, but never lived to receive it. Today, TJ Atchison hopes he's living that dream. He used to run like the wind. Then he was paralyzed in a devastating car accident. I realized I couldn't feel from about here down. I'm like, okay, I'm paralyzed. And when you they said got that there, to yourself? Right. When I got to the hospital, they, they said that I would never walk again. TJ was still accepting the news when doctors told him he'd be a great candidate. He was newly injured just days before, his body strong, his will even stronger. TJ agreed to be a laboratory of hope, the first human with a spinal cord injury to test human embryonic stem cells. How monumental would you describe, you know, what we're doing here? We want to cure paralysis. We want to stop spinal cord injury. How incredible would that be? Doctors opened his wound and researchers guided a needle, injecting a few drops with two million of these wondrous all-purpose cells that they hope will transform into new nerve cells and attach to muscles and refire his central nervous system. In the laboratory, they've used embryonic stem cells to repair the broken spinal cords of small animals that walked again. The stem cells have the potential to produce unlimited quantities of any type of cell, TJ's mother says she knows that people oppose the therapy on religious grounds, but thinks they're unreasonable. There are some people who are against it, but until they've been put in that position, I don't think they should judge anybody. TJ's role was only to prove the procedure is safe, but he believes it's already working. And like right now, I can feel, you know, this is cool. I can feel that the hair's being pulled on my leg. It's now six months after the procedure, and he says he can feel a sense of weight when he places heavy items in his lap. He can feel something, and it feels incredible. Just kind of rubbing deep in there, mm -hmm. and I can feel my that there's something there. He's holding out hope that one day again, he'll run like the wind. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Chatham, Alabama.